Welcome to the video. My name is Anders Beck. Today, uh, we will discuss how to customize the HUD or UI. I will show that to mid-drive. So, let's roll. Once you start writing on Indevelop, you will notice the HUD, quite similar to other platforms. You will see the cumulative data, like elapsed time, elapsed dis uh, read and distance, uh, elevation, the current speed, which is not the cumulative one, you know, the discussion if it stays there or should move there. You will find the TSS and the colonies. In the middle, you will find your heart rate, your trainer, the distance, in vantage, your cadence, below that is the parameter data, currently it's only vantage and torque for me. On the far side, you see the minimap, with the wind indicator on top, wind speed, the drafting indicator, and the gradient percentage. Below that you see where are you on the road. You see a bar filling up as you complete the route and the remaining distance to this lap. The right side, you see the nearest player list. And if you are in an event, you have two more fields to the left. You see the point system, if there is any. And on the right, next to the nearest player list, you see the groups for the event. So, a peloton of 100 participants breaks apart. We will see the groups there. At the bottom of the screen, you see the graph of your effort and the profile of the current route you are on. With the up button, we can bring up the menu. We can find the camera angle, making a U turn, taking a screenshot. So in another rider taking a break, which is a coffee break, that keeps sliding, <coughs> and also the chat. If you use a keyboard, you can turn on and off the chat. You push the M button, send a message. And with the C button, you can turn on and off if you want to see the chat or not. The F button, the bottom right, you can see the FPS is displaying or not. The right, the nearest players, simply push the N and it goes away. With the pressure of, sorry, the pressure of H, you can disappear the whole UI. With the left and right, you can take turns in the intersection, right? With the U, you can make a U turn straight away. The G, you can select to join another rider. It will teleport you to the place. The A, bring up the pairing screen. With the B, we are taking a break. Let's see how does that work. So my power meter is slow. Yeah, and I'm staying with the group. Let's just ramp it up. Turn off the break. Options menu. You can change the camera mode. How it appears, how it works. So if Leave it on snap and I want to look back quick. If I leave it pen, here we go. And it slowly turns, like you turn your head slowly. Where the touch is the upper left corner, root profile at the bottom, 
minimum position, you can change it here, or you can simply click on the minimum. Also, here as players with the end button, overhead labels, yeah, you turn it off, we will make the distance apart. Then in a race and you have a break, good to see that if they are five meters behind you, if you are five meters behind them, 50. I leave it on. Main input data. Main input data comes from the smart trainer. That's the main. That's top of the UI, middle. Progress data. That's the top left. Power meter data. Let me turn it off. Leave data graph. Let me turn it off. I'm sure not turning it on. Workout data. If you turn it on, during the workout you will see workout steps on the left. Turn it off, you will not see. But turn it off and you turn on the graph at the bottom, you will see the profile of the workout with the steps. Then groups, that's the one where bottom breaks apart from two groups. To leave it on, you will see these groups and the distance between them in minutes and seconds. Turn it off, you will not see it. Finish it out, yeah. You finish an event. Shows you the result. So chat messages. Let me turn it on. Chat message color. You can customize it a bit. Chat message duration. How long do you want them to appear? Break indicator color. You can customize it. How would you like to see when your character is breaking in the corners? Sprint indicator color. Again, the sprinting lights up at the real light. You can customize it to your liking and you can show the FPS count. That's the customization option. Then you HUD, in short. With that, thank you for watching my video.